All right, Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, we like to give our praises unto Yahweh, Ba'a Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'a Racha Kodash. <coughs> Double honors unto the apostles and elders who rule well. All right, the leaders of the of the nation of Israel. Salutations to the brothers who diligently and sincerely, and not just saying that to be saying it, but sincerely preach the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai in hopes of receiving salvation and nothing more. Hoping to be righteous in the eyes of the Heavenly Father, whether anyone's looking or not. All right. Uh, to you, brothers, we say Shalom. A couple of brothers from the Great Millstone Northwest Camp. I'm the brother Hassad, along with the brothers. Uh, All right. And we're doing the in transit. And uh, through the Spirit, um, we're going to touch on the, the topic of famine. Um, and without further ado, we're we just going to hop right into it. All right, this is um, Isaiah chapter 42, verse 9. Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Right, so the former things have come to pass, meaning there's prophecies that the Most High spoke of that have come to pass. All right. And then the, the new things that the Lord, uh, the, the prophecies to come to pass in the future, they, they were prophesied and they were spoken of in the past, man. All right, and one particular uh, situation <clears throat> we're going to get on is uh, the famine in the time of ancient Egypt when our forefather Joseph, Yahweh was in captivity in ancient Egypt. All right, uh, well, I wouldn't say captivity, but you know, it was captivity to some degree, even though he became a ruler in Egypt. Oh, yeah, he was, he was still captive. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. You know, just just to throw that, that, that balance out there. Because you even got uh, some some Israelites who make it in society and, you know, become a, a part of a, a, a high-ranking position. They hold a high-ranking position in government in America to, to the masses you know, to simple Israelites, they, they might see them as being uh, free, having liberty. But us brothers in the truth understand that they're still in captivity. They're still slavery. So that's the reason why I worded it like that. But it's good that the brother pointed it out. Um, so with, with, our, with our forefather, uh, Joseph, a, a lot of things, uh, a lot of the dreams that those individuals in, in Genesis were having that he interpreted. Um, those individuals who had their dreams interpreted uh, through the spirit by uh, via Joseph, they even mentioned that according to the interpretation, that's how the dream was. Yeah. Meaning, I, I had this dream, you know, but I didn't know I didn't know what the hell it meant. Right. But according to how this man of the most high broke it down, interpreted it, that's exactly what the dream was about. You know, so that, that that's a you know that's a, um, that speaks volumes. So uh grab Genesis forty one and start at uh, fourteen. We're gonna read down a little bit and you know, we're gonna get into it. All right, uh let's bear with me real quick. Uh, this is uh, Genesis. Say that's with your internet. Okay, this is uh, Genesis chapter. Uh, you said forty-one and fourteen. Yep. All right, Genesis forty-one and fourteen. It says, um, "And it came to pass." Um, uh, fourteen. Then Pharaoh sent and called Joseph, and they brought him hastily out of the dungeon, and he shaved himself and changed his raiment and came in unto Pharaoh. That's, that's what came to mind when uh, you know we were just talking about uh, Joseph being in slavery. You know he had to shave his beard and stuff. You know? Yep, yep. To to play that part. To yep. appear to appear before the Egyptians because the Egyptians used to be um, uh, all smooth, smooth face and bald headed man, and they thought that was a, that was the style. You know, and they would put that fake ass little ponytail on themselves. Yeah, know? hey, that's that's exactly what they do here in America. Is yeah. is a uh, uh, from from neck up, everything is bald, you know. Especially in in in, in you don't really see Esau doing that, but who does that, Jake? Yeah, you know, crispy a crispy a crispy, a crispy nigga 
with a with a smooth face and a bald head. Well, he, well, he'll have a beard and a bald head, you know. Yeah. The beard, the beard will be lined up or something, you know. They they heavy in the lining themselves up. So. Yeah. All right, I'll continue. Verse 15. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, I have dreamed a dream, and there is none that can interpret it. And I have heard uh, say of thee that thou canst understand a dream to interpret it. And Joseph answered Pharaoh, saying, It is not me. And how about you now? Shai shall give Pharaoh an answer of peace. And Pharaoh said, Yeah, in peace, just knowing, knowing, knowing what the dream meant brings, brings comfort to your spirit. You know, like uh, earlier I mentioned that um, uh, uh, the the two the two servants, the butler and the um, uh, butler and the chef. Yeah, the the, the it was, cup it was, bearer. It was a, it was, the butler was the cup bearer, and then the yeah, yeah. was supposed to. He was a chef. And uh, the, baker, the baker, the baker, the baker. Yeah, it's a lot. And one of them, one of them, uh, uh, dream uh, led to him being restored to his former estate. His former position, yep. And then the the baker uh, got his head cut off, That's right. and the birds the birds uh you know yeah uh, picked out uh, uh his his body and whatnot. Um, so but but just knowing knowing what the dream meant, you know, brought comfort uh to to the butler and to the uh to the uh, uh what was the other one the baker. The baker. All right, so. Uh, that's what Joseph was getting at uh, towards Pharaoh, you know, bring, uh, peace. The Most High was going to give him peace, letting him uh, receive the correct interpretation of his dream. Okay. All right. Uh, continuing, uh, it says that um, verse seventeen. Verse seventeen. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, In my dream, behold, I stood upon the bank of the river, and behold, there came up out of the river seven kind, fat flesh and well favored and they fed in a meadow and behold seven other kind came up after them poor and very ill favored and lean flesh such as i never saw in all the land of egypt for badness and the lean and ill favored kind did eat up all the first seven fat kind and when they had eaten them up it could not be known that they had eaten them but right, they, so think about that. You got, you know, some cattle who's who's hecka lean, who's who's pretty much uh, oh, a malnutrition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, rib cage. Yeah, rib cage on like you you <laughs> you look on online or something, and you see a, a country that's suffering a famine, like say for instance India, right. and you got this uh, Edomite with a with a skinny old cow. Right. You know what I'm saying? The only thing that looked normal somewhat is his head. And it just, it just looks disgusting. So imagine seven 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 uh, cows looking like that, or cattle looking like that, eating eight eight uh not eight it's, it's like a seven uh, uh uh fat fleshed you know healthy cattle, mm -hmm. and and it, it don't even look like it put a it look like they did anything they, man. Still they still skinny and ugly. Yeah, you know you that that will bug you out man. You know, go ahead. Uh. It says, but they were still ill favored as at the beginning. So I awoke. Yeah. And I saw in my dream, and behold, seven ears came up in one stalk, full and good. And behold, seven ears withered, thin, and blasted, but the east wind sprung up after them. And the thin ears devoured the seven good ears. And I told this unto the magicians, and there was none that could declare it uh, to me. Right, so even his magicians couldn't declare um, the interpretation of this dream. Okay? Go ahead. Right. Verse 25. And Joseph said unto Pharaoh, The dream of Pharaoh is one. The Most High has showed Pharaoh what he is about to do. Yep, hey, and, and so I'm bringing this out because a hey, prophecy, man. This being a year of prophecy, that famine is something that... Uh, you know we got to keep in mind man that famine is going to play a, a large part in the destroying of millions of americans so-called americans all right with you israelites included that don't want to get right man you two-thirds okay like like joseph said the most high is showing you what what he's about to do 
You know, we, hey, the missiles is coming. We, we, we preach about the missiles and this and that and martial law. Hey, that famine, that famine is, it goes hand in hand in, with, 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 with these prophecies, man. Yeah. You know? And if I can say, with, with that being said, um, the Most High is, is showing you uh, through signs, man, through signs and wonders. You see all these different signs that's happening in the heavens, you know? Um, uh, different people having dreams, you know, making videos saying they're having dreams. All that was prophesying, is prophesying the scriptures, man. Okay, you read Joel chapter 2, it tells you about people, uh, the Most High pouring out His Spirit upon men, you know, and, and the, uh, upon the flesh of men, and them having dreams, you know, of the times to come. Okay. Verse, verse 27. Are you just about to say something? No, no, no. Oh, verse 27. And the seventh then, uh, verse 28. This is the thing, oh, my bad. Verse 27. And the seventh then, an ill favored kind that came up after them. Uh, seven years and the seven empty ears blasted with the east wind should be seven years of famine. Mm -hmm. And it is the thing which I have spoken unto Pharaoh. With Pharaoh hey, uh, one, one, one point I want to point out is in verse 27, it says, uh, uh, and came up after them, um, it's like a, the favorite kind that came up after them are seven years, all right. Uh, and the seven empty ears blasted with the east wind shall be seven years of famine. So notice, and the Most High was just, he, he gave you the good and the bad. All right, America, Babylon the Great, all right, the, the plantation uh, 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 concentration camp for the nation of Israel, it, 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 had, it had its good years, man. When it was plenteous, when 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 things were plenteous and prosperous, prosperous they didn't. This place wasn't storing up, uh, even though the government stores up, you know, uh, uh, certain goods and and seeds and all that. But the average, the average, that that sentiment was not pushed down from the government to the everyday citizen being. Uh, uh, stock up on this, stock up on that, because you know a uh, uh, famine's coming. That you know that shows you that this this government can care less about its citizens, man. That's right. You know, but now, but now it's like it. Uh -huh. That that uh, now that that uh, though though the the years of however long you know it might be, it might be months, it might be a year, who knows? But that time of um, that complete time of of a uh, famine. It's gonna hit this place hard, man. Yeah. Hey, if I can say too, a lot of people aren't gonna be uh, prepared. A lot of our people aren't gonna be prepared, man. Because when the, when that window of opportunity uh, was opened onto them, they wanted to stop their ears, you know. So they, a lot of them are gonna get uh, caught up in that, man. A lot of them are gonna get caught up in that, and they're gonna be they're gonna be in a, in a, a bad situation, man. Eating their kids, like the scriptures say. Yeah. You know? Hey, and, and um, even if Esau was to uh, to store up. You know, it would be no, it would be of no uh, benefit to him. You know, for the times to come, because it's good to say uh, uh, in Second Esther, you know, sixteen, it, it speaks about uh, if they were to, to uh, deck their cities, you know, or to um, store merchandise, basically, that the Most High would be uh, the more the Most High would be angry at them. You know, so you do like the brother said, man, you do got some them elites that's storing up for the times to come. But when you read it in the scriptures, it talks about how. Uh, uh, the Most High is going to uh, uh, hunt them out of the caves. You know, the, the Most High is going to uh, find them wherever they go, man. You know, wherever they decked, wherever they uh, uh, stored up and, and thinking that they're sec uh, secure, the Most High is going to hunt them down, you know. So all that is, is for naught, you know. Uh, oh, I got a quick reset. Mm -hmm. um, this is um, uh, Sirach chapter uh, 11, verse 25. In the day of prosperity... There is a forgetfulness of affliction. Hey, yeah, and, and this place, like like brother said, this place was prosperous at one point in time. Back back when America had everybody eating out of its palm, you know, when, when all these nations were uh, adventurous and, and, and desired the crumbs and economic aid and BS uh, manufacturing that this place wants to produce and, and hand it out. All right. They, you know, these people, uh, they, they, they had no, they had no thought of, of what's to come of the latter end of this place. 
All right. So in a day of uh, prosperity, what it say? It says, um, in the day of prosperity, there is a forgetfulness of affliction. Right. There's a forgetfulness, uh, forgetfulness of affliction. And that goes uh, for you two thugs out there, man, for you hard headed ass niggas. All right. For you uh, dumb ass Latinos. All right. You you Native American Indians, so-called. That's hand in hand with the so-called white man. Uh, believing that that he's he's a uh, special man. All right, now now that you you got some kind of a uh, uh, establishment in this this jacked up society, you 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 forget where you came from, man. All right, you forget that you were brought over here to serve slavery, man, and be subject on the payments. It says, um, and in the day of affliction, there is no more remembrance of prosperity. Yeah, so when the Lord takes all that away, all you're gonna be worried about is how to survive. Where you gonna get your next meal from? Like uh, Ecclesiastes of 12, 12 chapter talks about waking up at the sound of the bird. All right, no electricity. You don't, you you don't, you don't gotta hit hit snooze on your alarm or alarm clock. Your main your main objective is is how to stay alive and, and where's my next meal coming from? All right, you ain't gonna be worried about Instagram and Xbox and in a in in a Netflix and in a you know, Star. Real Star, <laughs> you know, uh, Super Bowl, clubbing. Yeah. They, they, they only concern is going to be how to keep their head from getting blown off and how to fill their belly, man. That's it. You yeah. Know? It ain't going to be no no lining up for Jordans, man. You're going to be lining up for your next meal, man. Yep. You know? Uh, uh, drop down to verse 27. The affliction of an hour maketh the man forget pleasure. And in his end, his deeds shall be discovered. Yeah, and all these people. D d imagine these these fat, obese, morbidly obese, and I believe morbidly obese is when you're at least a hundred pounds overweight, and that is quite common in America. Okay, you go to Walmart, um, you gonna see more more morbidly obese people than 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 uh than obese people. You know what I'm saying? Which is which. <laughs> Think about that. You're going to see more morally obese people than obese people. <laughs> it's going to be more people that's 100 pounds overweight than somebody who's 99 pounds or less overweight, which is a shame, man. But uh, um, these people, like people like that, you, you know as you see these these uh, fat Edomites and, and nigga women and rolling around in a, uh electric... Uh, Wheelchair, yeah, because they in the belly, belly touching their ankles, yeah, yeah. you know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, so imagine, imagine a person like that. Like, why they get their the EBT and all that? They can go stock up and and and, and watch uh, Dancing with the Stars and American Idol, eating a <laughs> uh, TV dinner with, uh, with the TV dinner. Uh, you know how they got the yeah, yeah. the tray right. that you. <laughs> Yeah, they got the TV tray, you know, and and they just smiling while they eating, just yeah, just loving it, you know. Yeah, yeah, and, and, and we all know they're a hoarder. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, so they got cheeses for days. Yeah, you know, hey, what's that? What's some chemicals called when when you eat? It lets off uh, endorphins. Endorphins. endorphins yeah, so, you know, get, yeah. They, <laughs> <laughs> they getting high, they getting the high from eating this shit. Yeah. Hey. Hey, so, hey, now with that picture being in your mind, read that scripture one more time, bro, the latter part. Yeah. It says, uh, uh, verse 27, uh, Ecclesiastes or Sirach, Ecclesiasticus or Sirach, 11 uh, and 27. The affliction of an hour maketh the man forget pleasure. Yeah, affliction of an hour maketh the man forget pleasure, because guess what? On clockwork, every hour, they stuff in their mouth. Yeah. yeah. So when they can't do that, that that's going to be affliction to them, man. Yeah. And and they gonna forget they gonna forget all about the mirth they were encapsulated in, man. Right. You know. Yeah, like after um, after nine eleven, you know, the people had just uh, come off of Labor Day, right? That Labor Day holiday, day yeah. that uh, uh, to to these people denotes the uh, the end of summer, you know, mm -hmm. of them having fun and whatnot. As soon as nine eleven two thousand one came, all that was out the window, man. Mm -hmm. You know, America changed. You know. So that's that same thing is going to happen when these times come, man. You know, all the Super Bowl wins and the, the Christmases and all that. Ain't nobody going to be thinking about that, man. Right. 
you know, during the time of martial law and famine, and especially when the missiles are shut off. Yeah, hey, people ain't gonna be caring about these so-called holidays like that, man. You know? It uh, says, um, and then, oh well, yeah, that's the point, you know? Yeah, yeah, just uh, jump back to uh, Genesis uh, 41. 41 and 28. Yeah. Uh, verse 28. Genesis 41, 28. This is the thing which I have spoken unto Pharaoh, what the Most High is about to do. He showeth unto Pharaoh. Yeah. Behold, there come seven years of great plenty throughout all the land of Egypt. And there shall arise from them seven years of famine. And all the plenty shall be forgotten in the land of Egypt. And the famine shall consume the land. Mm -hmm. That's, it. That's what's coming. Yeah, yeah. Verse uh, 31. And the plenty shall not be known in the land by reason of that famine following, for it shall be very grievous. Man, it's, this this is going to be grievous because ain't nobody in this lifetime uh, in America experienced uh, uh, any any anything close to close to a grievous famine. Right. Now you had the uh, what was that the Dust Bowl. There, there might be some some old ass people. Nah, what was that in the forties? Nineteen. The twenties. No, I don't think it was the eighteen hundreds. It was the early nineteen hundreds. That, that, that's ball. Ain't nobody. Ain't nobody. Even even if there is somebody that's old enough to remember that, it was it was, it was there in their childhood. They yeah. Don't even, they don't even know it like that. You yeah, know yeah. Okay. They wouldn't have even known anything was wrong. You know what I'm saying? That's how long ago that was. That was yeah. Yeah, that would have been all they known at that time of their life. That would have been all they known. You know what I'm saying? Right. It was way back. Oh yeah, uh, the uh, 1930s. So 1930. Yeah. Hey, I, I just typed in uh, Dust Bowl. Right. It says uh, one hour ago, Dust Bowl revival concert at the Woodward. Oh man. <laughs> so they having a revival concert for the Dust Bowl. <laughs> hey, yeah. So somebody born then would be in their 80s or 90s now. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. Um, more than that? likely, morbidly obese. <laughs> well, nah, they probably be dead. They got cancer. Yeah, they <laughs> they, they look like a damn. Yeah, the old lady trying to look here. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Verse thirty-two, and, and for that the dream was doubled unto uh, unto Pharaoh twice. Yeah. It is because the thing is established by the Most High, and the Most High will shortly bring it to pass. Yeah. Now, therefore, let Pharaoh. Look out, a man discreet and wise. Hey, hey but we'll read thirty-two, and we're gonna we're gonna uh, thirty-two will be the last scripture we read in this in this chapter. But yep. read it again. Uh, and, and for that, the dream was double unto Pharaoh twice. Yeah, it is because the thing is established by the Most High. It, the, the, that that famine, this famine that's coming to Babylon the Great, is established by the Heavenly Father, man. That's right. That's right. All right, the Lord is the one who's gonna take. Plenteousness and and food from 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 a baby's mouth. All right, the, the Lord is the one who's gonna dry up the breasts of of a. Uh, 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 hey, what did Yahweh Shai say? Woe to them that give suck in those days. Yeah. All right, from old to young, man, that famine is gonna affect everything from live from livestock to to, to uh, every every cr creature. In America is going to be affected by that famine because the Most High is the one who decreed it, man. That's right. And the Most High will shortly bring it to pass. Yep, the Most High will shortly bring it to pass. Now, for the last scripture, uh, grab uh, Lamentations four and um, four and uh, nine. That's <laughs> It says uh, Lamentations four and nine. They that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger. Yeah, so it's better to, to take a, a shotgun to the head, man. All right, it's, 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 it's better to uh, 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 be a martyr. All right, it's better to to uh, going out going out uh, via via hunger via starvation. That's the worst way, man, because you you you're literally. It's a slow death. It's yeah. Torment. It's, it's yeah. Death, your your body is eating itself, man. And yeah. guess what? You you got you got to suffer that. Yeah. Think about that, your man. Mind, your mind is still working at that point. Yeah, your mind is still working, 
to some degree, you know, and your body, your body is eating itself, man, from the inside out. And you, you got to experience all that and, and, and you're trapped. <laughs> your mind is trapped in your body experiencing that, man. You know how crazy of a, a scenario that is? Just mentally to, to, to go through something like that? It's, it's so severe to where it will cause you to eat your own children, man. Yeah. You know? Mm. And that, that happened in the past, man. You know? And that's, that's going to happen again. Cannibalism, man. You know? Yeah. For these pine away. Yeah, these pine away. Just like when you um you watch the uh the, the, the seasons change from summer to fall, that transition is not an overnight thing. Alright? You you'll see you see you slowly see from the summer to uh transitioning into the fall, you'll see the uh, the leaves start to look uh, dimmer. You 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 see them. Um, well, even going from uh, I, I start with the spring. Spring, the trees is all the leaves is all green and, and and full of life. Towards the end of summer, they look all dry just from that heat. You know, they look all dry. Then come fall, they start losing its color. They yeah, they they become withered. You know. And then eventually, they, they, you wake up one morning, they just all fell off the, you know, it, it's, it's very noticeable that there's no leaves on the, on the, uh, <laughs> on the trees, you know? So that's, that's a process that happens <clears throat> with, uh, with famine. It says, for these pine away. With your body, yeah, with, that's what happened to your body during famine. Yeah. Yeah. I actually go, that's that's what happened to your body during famine, you know, just to back your brother up. Yep. Um, it says pine uh, for these pine away, stricken through for want of the fruits of the field. Yeah, for want of the fruits of the field. Alright, what the earth produces. For some food, yeah, for some food. You know? I read this last one. Yep. Verse ten. The hands of the pitiful woman have sodden their own children. They were their meat in the destruction of the daughter of my people. Man. Alright, hey, time of Draco's trouble. Alright, that's 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 uh, uh gonna be uh the destruction of the most high's people. Alright, the the two thirds. And guess what? You're gonna have a lot of them that's gonna um boil, fry, uh might not even cook, might yeah. bake. You know, sauteed, uh, uh, sauteed uh, uh, sun dried. <laughs> um, uh, you know, turn turning uh, young young Tay Tay into uh, into uh, baby jerky pickles. <clears throat> yeah, you know pickle. That's what's coming, man. All right. So, uh, hey, um, yep. if I can say real quick before we close it out, um, the scriptures do say. That in their time of hunger, that the the elect, the, the most highest people, or the the, the the elect, the chosen elect, is going to be able to eat, man. They're not going to have to experience that hunger like that, man. You know. Mm -hmm. I got one one last one. <clears throat> this is um, Second Esther chapter uh, two verse twenty seven. Be not weary, for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, others shall weep and be sorrowful, but thou shalt be merry and have abundance. Yep. So the Lord, he going to provide for us, man. All right. And we know this is coming to pass. Like, so our spirit is prepared for it. Abba Ratazah. Yabba Shemi Abba Uh This is a uh, last scripture. Isaiah, uh, Isaiah 65 and 13. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. All right. You two thirds, you, you uh, Edomites. And the rest of you heathens, all right? Uh, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink. But ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants shall rejoice. But ye shall be ashamed. Behold, my servants shall sing for joy of heart. But ye shall cry for sorrow of heart and shall howl for vexation of spirit. All right? So you best believe if you're suffering from uh, starvation, from a famine, 
you gonna you gonna um your your spirit is gonna howl, man. Your your spirit is gonna be in a state of vexation. All right, and that's what's coming for all of America, all of Babylon the Great. Why? Cause that's what. Hey, that's coming from Yahweh by Shai, man. That's right. That's right. You know. Anybody's right. got anything else they want to say? All right. So with that, Lord willing, this was edifying. And until next time, we say uh, Shalom.